mean, the professional was, was great boy's own drama. <laughs> It was the beginning of uh, product placement. It was quite obvious that Ford were lending them all the cars. The Capris featuring in The Professionals, I believe, was the definitive product placement. But what a lot of people don't realise is, in the early episodes, they were using BL cars. So Bodie had a Triumph Dolomite Sprint, which was, of course, the first car in Britain to have a 16-valve engine and alloy wheels as standard. Doyle, who was not as exciting to blokes, but the girls preferred him, he had a TR7. British Leyland messed them around so much by taking the cars back to loan them to somebody else that uh, that production company came to me and said, can you supply Ford cars? Oh dear, I thought you were getting rid of that geriatric. Are you talking about my car? You know, the car that most men aspire to, or y most young men aspire to, was a 1.6 laser Ford Capri. Oh yeah. When we put it on professionals halfway through its life, it invigorated sales within, within Britain, for sure. We measured that. There were cars that we could actually dream of driving and owning, unlike Ferraris. We probably all thought as lads we could get, get up, have a Ford Capri and burn it round the corners. And uh, they were great cars to slide around in and very dramatic. And so we always remember the, what was the Granadas as well and uh, good stuff. I love every one of those cars. There will be a revival in those, and not just in people who follow the programmes, but people will realise those cars are very, very cool. I don't think Cowley's Granada will ever be a classic.